In our last episode, we found what we thought was going to be an epic bird camp. Mm-hmm. And we've only been here 20 or 30 minutes. I'm standing 25 feet from our van, and I'm looking at 30 different types of birds. Toucanets, barbets, all kinds of birds, guys. This place is insane cool. And this is just what's right outside our van. First thing in the morning, 5.50, bright and early, we'll be going on a bird tour where we're on the lookout for some super cool birds. We're not telling, you have to wait and see, but we are where there are some amazing birds. Not only are there cool birds on this little patio deck area to see, but over here, guys, are some amazing hummingbirds. I mean, it's just crazy how cool these things are. So we're at the La Paz Refuge Bird Refuge, just outside of Mindo, maybe 30 minutes away from Mindo. Mindo is known as being one of the bird capitals of the world and guys this is just crazy but the ones we're going to be looking for in the morning if we can find them one of them is one we've never seen and uh it's going to be pretty epic but we get to camp here for free because we're paying for the tour in the morning 35 dollars a piece everyone says I should be able to do the walk, which is super exciting. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. Get ready for bird overload. It's early. 5.50 in the morning to be exact. <laughs> for the record. For the record. Kurt's up too. Because today... We're taking a bird tour. So let's go see if we can find some cool birds. All right, we're up so early. We're seeing some creatures of the night. I don't think you'll see these in the dark, but I'm trying. Look at this monstrous beetle right here. Oh, he's huge. Kurt's gonna show you something creepy and crawly with eight legs. What a beautiful morning. And we're off in the forest up here in the clouds. And we've got a beautiful clear morning. And snow actually got up really super early to be here on this beautiful bird hike with us. We have an awesome tour guide. And look at her going down this steep step slippery trail. She's got her walking stick. But we're going to see some really, really, really beautiful and cool things today. So I encourage you guys to follow along. I expect that we're going to be surprised and you're going to be surprised as well. But we're getting close to the area because I hear the first target. Look at this place, guys. And guess what? Snow's here. Trying to call them back. Looks like they've left. All right, guys. So if you can see, we're kind of in a little bit of a a bird blind, if you will. And we've seen about three of the birds, but there were little glimpses. I think Snow was able to get a picture with the guide's big lens. But a little different scenario than what we had on Hardeen. And Hardeen, they were just sitting in the trees right in front of us and we were able to get some amazing pictures. 
Now this is a really beautiful cloud forest in a bit of a more wild setting. But we know they're here in the morning. They were here. I think they've left. The guide's trying to call them back in. But this is one of the aspects that we rarely show you is how much effort it takes to get some of these birds. I beat Kurt to the top, guys. I did it. Good I job. even used both knees coming up some of the time. Awesome. All Have right. A beautiful morning. Next stop. All right, we're looking for something else here. What do you think, Kurt? I think I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> this altitude, and then that little climb right there. But the next thing we're going to target is some amp eaters. Ampedas. 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 Alright. Stop. Alright, so our guide walked up the road and was calling in a wood quail. He was gone for about seven minutes and he came back and he said he's coming this way. So, I don't know, we'll see how this thing goes down. I don't even know what a wood quail looks like, but hopefully we'll be able to show you guys. All right, the bird has answered our guide. Definitely coming from the other direction. I think he's coming this way. We have spotted a Quetzal. There's two guides here, so I don't know which one this is, but I'll tell you in a few minutes. Let's see if Kurt can get him. Okay, it's a female Quetzal, and it's a golden Quetzal, and the light is hitting her perfect. So I think Kurt's getting great shots for you. We've seen the resplendent, but this is the first time we've seen this one. It's a little different colored. You can see its head's a little more golden than the other Quetzals. So pretty. And of course this is a female, so it's not as pretty as the males. Ah, shut up. All right. Now we have seen a golden Quetzal. We've seen the very rare Ant Pita that you can only find in this region of the world. And the wood quail. That was what we saw over there. That was a wood quail. Oh, that wasn't the ant pita. That was a wood quail. Oh, I was totally wrong, guys. <laughs> we haven't seen the ant pita yet. No. But we're going to go look for it now. Okay, we've seen a glimpse of the cock of the rock, a really cool wood quail. We just got to see a golden quetzal. Now we're going to go look for the infamous ant pita that you can only see in this region of the world. It's been a good morning.
What do you see? All right. The ant pita, the mustache ant pita. No, giant. The giant, giant ant pita. The giant ant pita is very rare. And this is one of the few spots that you can see it. But here, we're looking at two babies right here in the nest. If you can see them, their beaks are kind of crossed. Oh, they're moving. They're not the prettiest thing. It doesn't it's matter. so cool to see rare babies in the wild. Amazing. All right, Mama is in there feeding the babies. She has you see her. She's um behind that lyra pea, just a foot behind the branch that goes across the trail. The reality is, this is a bird we would never even see, or for that matter, even know about it without our guide here. All right, guys, there she goes, climbing up through the uh, cloud forest here. But we just had the amazing opportunity to see the Aunt Pita feed her babies. And I gotta tell you, it was truly amazing to see nature in action. Wow. All right, we were just stuck in a cow jam. Look at the baby cows. So I have to tell you guys, it's been a beautiful and amazing morning. And Angel just brought us up here for some Desiana for some breakfast. We have some fruit, I think some coffee's on the way. And we don't even know what else. So, but how about snow just traipsing around through this cloud forest like it's nothing? How are you feeling about it, Snow? Well, uh, honestly, my knee's tired, but it doesn't hurt. I'm not tired. I can tell the muscles are tired, so we will elevate and ice and be ready for this afternoon. So another thing just to tell you guys is that was uh, three and a half to four hours that we were out there. And that turns into two, three, maybe four minutes of bird footage. So that just kind of helps explain the footage, um, the amount of time, the patience. But it's awesome. All right, in the last video, you saw me try one of these, but it was very plain because it didn't have anything in it. I oh, think wow. these might be better. These are definitely different. These are the bolognese. Yes. It comes out with a salsa, so we have to see. And it also comes with chicken inside. Yeah. All right, Kurt says this isn't spicy. It is tomatoes and onions. So she's piling it on. This is really, really good. That's trust right there, guys. You better not apply. <laughs> I didn't. But I never know when you're going to be like, oh, that's hot. Mm. These are so good, aren't they? Yes. They just brought us out two giant empanadas with queso. Oh, you man. Give me respect to these Look are. at that. It's almost as big as my head. No, it's not. Half, half as big. <laughs> All right, I already dug into my empanada and I made snow wait so you guys could see because these things, it's gonna be the best thing I've they're ever so eaten. light and fluffy and delicious and they have cheese in them, but they're a little bit, I think, sweet. Isn't that good? I did not expect that. 
It is. It's like an elephant ear without the cinnamon and sugar on it. It is. It is. That is what it is. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna perk the big one. <laughs> it's an elephant ear. It's so good. I gotta tell you guys. If you ever get the chance, even if you're not a birder, you definitely want to come here. This is a beautiful place in a cloud forest. And Angel owns this property and the one up the road at the hotel where the van is parked. There's a bird viewing area here. And as you can see, he's got some beautiful flowers here. The restaurant is gorgeous. The bathrooms are out here. They're nice and clean. And the food was out of this world and so unexpected. Now, I was talking to Angel and he said that he built this restaurant one year before the COVID. And prior to that, uh, the bird tours and all the things that he had going on up here were going really well. And COVID hit and then nothing. No income from the bird tours. He had just built this big giant restaurant. And so things are slowly kind of coming back, but definitely not to the levels they were before. But what an amazing place. I mean, sometimes we're so fortunate to be here, but look at this. As you guys can see, there's beautiful murals throughout this place. But here we've got the golden quetzal, and we just saw the female, that would be a male. And then there's the red-headed barbette which we also saw over at the feeders. Over here, as to what we yet to see, is the blue toucan. And here's our lovely cook. Thank you, the food was so delicious. But we have some more birding to do, and some more relaxing, and just enjoying this beautiful place. So Snow's back at the van, resting her knee. She's okay, but she just wanted to put some ice on it and swell it, and not overdo it. We've done a lot of standing and walking today. But I'm with Angel, and we're gonna go try to find another Ampita. And it's about a 15 minute walk right here from his place. So we're headed down through there now. Look at this walk, guys. It's beautiful through these cloud forests, isn't it? All right, we're deep into the cloud forest now. I don't know if you guys can see this little brook of water down through here. But we quickly just came down about 1,500 feet in elevation really quick. I'm sorry, not 1,500, 500. Looking for these antipedas. Look at the thick of this cloud forest though, guys. It's one thing to film the birds at a feeder. It's another thing to go out and find them in the wild. So, this is a muddy, slippery mess. I've already busted it once, and I can tell you, we're in the, we're in the thick, I always like to say the jungle, but we're in the thick of the cloud forest. Okay. He's telling me to stand right here.
<laughs> All right, snow's over there, and we just put out a couple bananas, and the birds are absolutely going insane. So if you can see, there's a banana on this little thing on the right and on the left, and there are so many different species of birds. <laughs> Some of them fly right up to you. Uh, they're not really that shy, especially when they're eating. They buzz past you. But I gotta tell you guys, this is the number one bird spot. And we've been at some great spots. This is the number one bird spot in the whole world, at least that we've experienced. Absolutely incredible. When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we Something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are It's a rainy day here, but we are in a cloud forest, and it probably rains in the afternoons and the evenings half the time up here. But we're sticking around because the breakfast was so darn good this morning that we're going to eat dinner up at the Lodge restaurant. So we're excited about that. There's no doubt in my mind it is going to be so incredibly good. We'll see what other kind of birds we can get with this rain going on. Maybe a few more birds in the morning, but then we are headed out of here. So dinner is at seven o'clock, but it is about a five minute drive away from where we sleep. The lodge and the restaurant are in different places. So we had to secure everything up. Now we're driving that way. I broke the Mercedes out tonight to take snow to a nice dinner. <laughs> it's raining a little bit, but other than that, pretty excited to be here. I think we're gonna be the only people in the restaurant yes. tonight. And it's smells good already. It does, so I'm really excited to see what kind of authentic food yeah. we're gonna to get tonight. We have no idea, I don't think no. there's a menu, it's just whatever they, feed whatever they put in front of us. It did not take long for the first course. What do you got, Snow? I got a bowl of chicken soup, and all I've had so far is a little bit of the broth, and oh, it's so flavorful. It looks tasty. It's so good. <laughs> It's delicious. It's really, really so good. Delicious. See. Muy, muy bueno. Coffee, tea, tal vez. I think I'm good. No. No más. This is perfecto. Perfecto. This stuff right here is delicioso. 
This is barbecued chicken, pollo, and then this is fried yuca, and it is prepared. It's crunchy, it falls apart, it's delicious. And this carrot is so unique. It's cold, but it's been blanched so it's soft, and then it's marinated in like a sugar water, so it has a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of vanilla, Limon. Limon, and it is absolutely a surprise tasty. I never had anything mm. like it before. Wow, great meal. Perfect, perfect meal. Yesterday, we found a lot of birds, but we're missing one. One we really want to see. So we're going out this morning to try to find him. Let's go. All right, dinner is at seven. And the restaurant is about a five minute drive. Hold on. Did you get the camera? Yeah. Okay, all right, I just didn't. Okay, cool. I wonder if we see a toucan. I have the camera and the okay. tripod and everything we own right. right here in the van. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we got dark. Let's see. We're in our house. <laughs> Did you get the camera? All right, guys. Stop. I'm trying to vlog. Come on. All right, guys. Dinner is at 7 o'clock, and the restaurant is actually about... Uh... All right. Yesterday, we did not find a blue toucan. Oh. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And... Don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!